Guys, remember I told you that I am a plant killer. No matter what I do, they don't survive with me. My sister told me that I should get a cilantro plant instead of buying small bunches every week and letting it go waste if we don't use it for that week. I decided to give it a try. Look at what happened. I couldn't even use it for a single day. When I started painting four years ago and decided to start an Instagram account, I asked few friends and relatives to follow my page and support me. But they could never understand my intention. Some of them asked me, Why are you doing this, Geetu? Is everything alright? Will you get the time to pursue this? You have a house to look after. What they didn't realize was the fact that painting makes me emotional. It was giving me the joy and the chance to pursue my passion once and for all. I didn't listen to them and continued to create art. I kept posting on Instagram and surrounded myself with like-minded people. Even though virtually, people who understood the meaning of creativity and the purpose of art and the balance it creates within our life. In the beginning, my watercolor paintings didn't turn out as I expected. They sometimes still don't do, but I know that I have come a long way. I have learned so much. With the discovery of each technique, I was feeling ecstatic just like a child who just discovered to make the first brush stroke. They say practice makes perfection, but the truth is practice makes improvement. Repeat until the process becomes second nature to you. I have the least practice with gouache. I have been so immersed in watercolors all these years and I really want to experiment with more mediums now. So I decided to do a small gouache painting today, something that will push my creativity a little bit further. Guys, I need to plan my next Skillshare class and today I will show you my secret weapon. It's an app called Notion. I know it's cliche if you're already aware of Notion and has already seen the hundreds of videos and tutorials about Notion. But this little tool has changed the way I organize and work in every aspect of my life. You will be surprised, it's not paid, it's completely free. I have been using Notion since 2019. So my sister was like a very huge fan of Ali Abdal's videos for the medical stuff that she used to follow. And she introduced me to both Ali Abdal and Notion. And ever since then, I'm a fan of both of them. I started organizing everything in Notion and it has like literally it really helped me plan all my Skillshare classes and even now for planning my YouTube videos, it's, it's really, really helpful. So today I am planning my next Skillshare class and I wanted to show you how I do it so that maybe it will help you also to, you know, get started with it. The thing with Notion is that it's like a fully customizable software. So you can make it like a note taking app or like a task manager or like a calendar to you know track all of your work and everything it's all of it in just one thing and the good thing is that you're not restricted to the model or the interface that the builder has built in because notion is just like plain blank page and 
then you can customize and build everything you want like you can have thousands of pages nested pages you can add in calendar view you can add in databases i don't want to go into the explanation of it i will just show you a part of my workspace here in notion and then i will also direct you to where you can get tutorials so that if you want to learn notion you can and then you can set up your own as well this is my skillshare dashboard page in notion you can see i have hundreds of other pages like for example for work, for organizing my tasks, everything in my life and a lot of personal things as well. But this here is my Skillshare one and I can actually show you my completed projects because that's already done, right? For example, if I click here, you can see all the Skillshare classes that I have published till now. So let me see, this is not sorted. So if I sort this, then you can see the latest. That was a Christmas themed class that I published published uh, at the beginning of December. So all of these tags and dates and everything you see, I built it from scratch. So that's the thing with Notion. You can like literally set this whole thing up the way you want it. So if you open up something, then you'll see the things that are there inside. For example, my various checklist and what I wanted to say for my intro and everything literally and then the date created filming day see the christmas class was actually filmed starting from august and then i finished in december because you know i had like a long period of time that i did not do any painting because i lost my friend I think I've spent like many many hours and days setting up and building my Notion workspace because it's really that pleasurable to create something on your own, you know, and then to use it. So all of these other task manager apps. I've tried everything and I did not like, you know, many of them because one way or the other, there is some kind of restriction or something that is not there. There will be something missing in it. And I think I wish I had this in it. I wish I had that in it. And then many of them are paid and I didn't want to add another monthly subscription. So then when I found out about Notion, it was just too perfect and it was just unbelievable that it is going to be free. Just give it a try. I mean, just open it up and just give it a try. There are like thousands of tutorials on YouTube itself where it will show you how to set up the whole thing in Notion. Or there is a Skillshare class by Ali Abdal itself. But if you don't want to pay for Skillshare classes, then you can go to YouTube. Actually, Thomas Frank's YouTube is the one amazing. He has a channel that is like only for Notion tutorial. You should try it out. It changes everything. It speeds up everything because you have everything organized in one place. Some other day for sure, I will entirely share my Notion workspace. But today I have to plan my Skillshare class. I remember learning about it in school but this is really fascinating you know the formation of a rainbow oh i didn't tell you that so the next skillshare class topic that i thought would be to paint rainbow with watercolors so i was just looking into you know some theory so that i can explain it in the class along with the painting process i have managed to write the content for the first few pages i think i will shoot it tomorrow but guys look i made four paintings for the class actually i had made five but i don't like this one i mean i made this just because of that tiny ray of light this doesn't qualify for rainbow right i think i'm gonna skip this and also this one i don't like it i mean it's too empty here and this one i had to try twice see this one failed so i think i'll just stick with these three here Hey guys, 
it's a bit wet and cold but I like it and I'm walking in the opposite direction of the wind very cold <laughs> I really enjoy going out on my own. Sometimes it is very important for us to walk around without a clear destination or aim. You will never realize that these little things around you can create so much inspiration. Trust in your guts and you will find yourself surrounded by beautiful things. Right guys, I'm gonna head back. It's very very cold my hands are literally freezing there are a lot more flowers as in you know in the front garden of the houses and i really want to go and see but i'm i mean it's somebody else's house right i wish i could sneak in like a cat <laughs> I'm not running, it's the wind. Okay, I'm back home. Now, with four years of hard work, I have been teaching online, creating art in my free time and enjoying the little moments in my studio, even after the birth of my son. Imagine if I had listened to those people who asked me if this was the right track for me. Maybe they were enforcing their own fears onto me without thinking out of the box. I think what we all need is to trust yourself and believe in your abilities. You should never give up. There will always be ups and downs because that is life. Remember, you will eventually find the balance and the light within you. Never give up because nothing in life comes to you for free. When I said I am a plant killer in the last video, a dear friend told me that maybe it's not the right time for you. When the time comes, they won't die. I realized that I was being critical of myself and how will I know what the right time is if I don't try? How will it come to me if I give up? practicing because I won't give up. Because I didn't give up. Look at this.
Thank you.